Well, my lathe came yesterday, actually. And look how cute this chuck is. Isn't that fantastic? So, let's get it out of the box and get it set up. Let's have a look at the basics here. This is the 4500 model. So what this comes with is the headstock unit, the tailstock unit, and we have here graduated hand wheels. And this is the cross slide. They have an adjustable gib here. They're actually very easy to adjust on these machines. Um, and you actually do the, you, you move the z-axis from back here rather than moving the entire carriage. So that's sort of a unique thing. Uh, they have holes on here that you can bolt it down to a plate, which I am going to do similar to my mill. You see I have the mill bolted down to the plate. So, and then you get the, uh, basically the motor mounting hardware and a guard for the pulley. So I'll get it assembled here and we'll give it a whirl. going to assemble the motor guard here to the motor and um, with the pulley and previously there was a pulley on here um, but you have to remove that first and I actually learned that a good way to do this right the first time is to actually look at the instructions so I'm trying to do that this time I am absolutely fully aware that I'm not a good instruction follower. Um, I'm the type of person that would um, learn from my own mistakes, which is the stupid way to go through life. So every now and then it's wise to look at some pictures in the book, read some words, and possibly even doing it right the first time. So I'm going to try that, see how it goes. So these studs go in here, like so, just hand tight. And then basically you can get the pulley back in location here. When I put my mill together, I just could not figure out, based on the pictures, how they got that guard on there with that big pulley in the way. Well, there's a set screw on the pulley, and you just take the pulley off and put it on. So that's step one, and so far I'm looking like the picture. Now we get the belt in here. Again, this is very helpful when you look at the pictures, um, rather than just slapping this stuff together. So the belt doesn't necessarily have to be hooked on the pulley. It just needs to be in there in the right location. Then this top guard goes on, um, these screws will go in, and I kind of remember these being a little bit of a pain the last time, because they're so darn long. Okay, there we go, got that one in. And then there's uh, nuts that will go in the back. And they're actually in a like a hex pocket. So that helps. 
they have a hex pocket cast into the mold. You really don't have to go super tight on this stuff. I mean, it's they actually have a caution in the book, if you read the book, that warns about um, over-tightening on these small machines. You can really damage it. Um, the torque that's required to tighten a little tiny screw uh, is, is very small. So here you can see the, the hex pockets that they sink those nuts into so that helps to secure everything. Okay, so let's see what's next. So this is an interesting union here. There's a, a little gap here and then on the on the actual motor control unit there's basically these get forced in there and essentially that's the only thing holding the control unit and the motor together and then we got to mount some brackets to get it mounted up this aluminum mounting bracket goes on the side of the guard here um, there's on these aluminum standoffs there's tapped holes in there they screw into there and then on the back of the headstock there's screws that I'm gonna remove and then mount the bracket with the motor and the entire attachment all assembled. Everything is put on here now. So what we want to do is uh, set the pulley tension, which is pretty easy to do. So we'll get it on this bigger pulley because I want it on the bigger pulley. So basically, all that has to be done is once the belt is on the pulley, you just tension the motor back until the belt is, you know, basically as tensioned as you'd like it to be, and then tighten up these brackets, and then that controls the location of the pulley. So anytime you want to change the pulley it's a little easier because you could just loosen the brackets up if you want to. Now the way the control box closes up is they actually have this piece here it has a nut already in it and it slides in here like so. The control closes over top and you simply put the bolt in and once it finds the thread which can be a bit of a challenge I remember this was a little challenging on the mill getting everything to line up so there it is so now the box is locked in and basically it's all it's all set up at this point so I'm gonna at least uh, plug it in and get the spindle turning I actually don't have any uh, round stock here which is kinda stupid but I'll grab some uh, tomorrow probably and start working on some stuff on here I definitely wanna get the plate squared away um, I have one ready, I just got to bring it home and drill and tap the holes in it. And then we'll be set up and running. If anybody has any questions or anything, uh, I'd be more than happy to address them. Just comment or however you want to get in touch with me. Thanks for watching.